Hey, what's up everyone? Reactor here and welcome to my channel. So today I wanna to show you guys how to make a pen that can help you pass almost any test. So I figured out how to make this pen when I was uh, in my first year of college and it really helped me through a lot of hard times. So I figure if I show you guys how to make it today, it could help you also. So basically all you really need is a printer and this type of pen. You can find them on Amazon and I put a link to them in the description. So check them out and you'll see kind of what I mean. So what I have here is the, the type of pen, and it could be any kind of pen that has the gray uh, semi-transparent uh, tube to it. And it's gotta be semi-transparent because you're gonna be putting the cheat sheet inside of the pen. So anyone could put a cheat sheet in a pen, but there, there's a couple important steps you need to follow to make sure it's as uh, discreet as possible. And the way we're gonna be making it today, it's gonna be so that only the person holding it within a foot of their face will be able to tell that there's writing and be able to read it. Because you don't want like a teacher or anyone who's like three feet away from you walking past you to be able to look at your pen and tell that it's got all the answers in it. So the first thing you're gonna need to do is to go into your program and create the cheat sheet. And I'm gonna be using Photoshop to do this, but I have used WordPad before, uh, which is a free program that comes with Windows. Okay, so when you open up Photoshop or WordPad, for example, Photoshop is gonna be easier for me because I can actually put the measurements of the cheat sheet, which is gonna to have to be exactly uh, the length and size of the pen. So first thing you need to do is go to image, image size. And then here you'll have, you'll have to set it to inches and make the width 3.8 and the height about 0.71. And then make sure the resolution is 576 or maybe even higher, but it doesn't really matter. So then hit okay. And here you're gonna put some text inside here and make the color close to maybe gray, but also closer to white so that it's separate from the color. And then we would put two times two equals four, which would be the cheat answers, for example. And so that's kind of what you would do, but just to show you guys, I already have it set up. And here I already typed out the first paragraph of the Declaration of Independence, or the first couple paragraphs. And what I did was I started shifting them upward to get rid of the big spaces in between them because those gray lines will actually make it look like writing from far away and you don't want it to look like that. You just want it to look like a weird pattern or blend together actually. So then you move it up like that and take the next one and just shift them together as close as you can without them being on top of each other and just keep going like that. All right, and then just finish it all up like that and you'll have these words. So what I did was I already printed it out and so here is the cheat sheet. Let me see if I can get it to focus on it. So you can see that this is the cheat sheet with all the cheat words on it. And then I took it and I rolled it up. See how it's like sort of curled? So now you have to take your pen and pop the top off. And then you're gonna take this part out so that you only have this part of the pen, right? Then make sure you have the, uh, the first line right here. Fold it a little bit, curl it, and put it inside. And if the sizes are perfect, it will actually go along evenly. Make sure you have it all straight, then take it. And what I usually do is I take this part and I push the rest in so that it goes all the way in. So now I have this pen like that. I put the pen part back in. Then I take the cap, pop that on, and then you put the cap on and now you have about three or four paragraphs of information all on your pen. And from far away, like I have it right next to me, you can't tell that there's any writing. It just looks like maybe a glare from the light or something like that. And if you got close, you would be able to read it if it would focus. You can see the words, but from far away, you know, no teacher's gonna get it all up on your, on your hand and, and inspect your pen. So this is the perfect place for a cheat sheet because no one really checks pens. The only way they can really stop people from doing this is if they check all the pens and if they start handing out pens that you have to use for the test, which would be really weird. 
Uh, this never failed me. I, I remember I passed French, uh, French 101 and 102, and uh, a bunch of other things. I, I would put like algebra formulas or calculus formulas on it. And, uh, and if you can't fit all the information you need on one pen, bring 10 pens. Nobody gives a shit how many pens you have. So uh, you can always have as much information as you need. Another thing I used to do was uh, after I was done taking the test and using the pen, I would give the pen to one of my friends and let them finish the test with the pen. Because uh, you're allowed to share pens during a test. Nobody cares about that. Uh, pens are a very overlooked part of taking tests. And, uh, and that's how I passed most of my classes. You need to keep in mind that if you get caught, the you could get in a lot of trouble in college. You can probably get expelled for cheating. You'll get a lot of trouble. You'll fill a class automatically and stuff like that. So you have to be prepared to hide the pen in a place that you never really intended to put a pen. Uh, it's really important, but you have to think about it. What's worse, having a pen inside you or getting kicked out of a class for having a cheat sheet? It's, it's a no-brainer, really. If you ask me, I, I would have no problem doing it. It's the small things, you know? You know, a little bit of work will get you a long way. Uh, you just have to be uncomfortable for a little while. It, it might be pretty uncomfortable sitting in the rest of the class with a pen inside you, but at least you're not gonna fail the test. And at least you're not gonna fail the entire semester of class. So yeah, I figured uh, with tests coming up or with tests happening right now in schools, this would really help you guys. And I wanna help all of you pass so that you can go on and get great jobs and uh, support your families and stuff like that. So because nobody really cares if you study, everyone always forgets what they studied, or at least I always forgot what I studied. Like as soon as the test was over, my brain just kind of wiped it all out. So I figured, what's what's the big deal about just having it on a pen? It's no different than my memory, but it's just on my pen. And uh, another thing you have to keep in mind is nobody cares if you're staring at your pen because your pen is in front of the test. So, I mean, you just sit there spinning the, the pen while you take the test. Uh, I mean, don't, don't pull the pen up in front of you like this and just start reading it and then go back to writing. Just keep it in your hand while you're writing and you can, you can look at it, read it, write. You can just, you can probably not even look at the paper and just write everything you're reading. Uh, it's probably one of the best cheat pens I've ever made. Uh, it's probably one of the best ways to hide a cheat sheet. I mean, you can get tattoos, but those are permanent. You don't want to tattoo a cheat sheet on you. Although I'm pretty sure if you did, they couldn't get mad at you for it. And maybe they could make you wear long sleeves, but if they make you wear long sleeves, they would have to make everyone else wear long sleeves. Otherwise, they're discriminating against you for having tattoos. Uh, if I had the periodic table tattooed on my arm, you know, should I have to cover that up? I mean, I'm not going to have to memorize the periodic table of elements because it's tattooed on my arm. That is my memory. My body knows it. So uh, it's not really cheating, is it? But, but that's it. I just wanted to show you guys how to do this so that you could, you know, benefit from it. And uh, if you get caught, I didn't tell you to do this. Uh, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time. And good luck with your tests. Uh, best of luck, I hope all of you pass your tests. I don't really see how you can fail if everything's written on a pen. So I'll see you next time.